just hit the 3,000 mark. What up, YouTube? It's out on the job site. Let me see it. Check those out. Bam. Thirty sevens, ridge grapplers, fuel vapor, wheels. Got the AVS bug deflector, hood protector. Look at that. we we'll go look under the hood. I'll we'll pop this sucker. So, uh, let's see if we can get this. Uh, it's not working. We got the hood open. AFE, cold air intake, looks pretty good I think, I actually prefer it over the SMB, I didn't really like the idea of trying to have to move the whole battery compartment and everything, I mean this is pretty direct right in here this is optional I think it's I think I found it for about 40 bucks extra maybe 50 so this I think runs about 170 around there I actually found it on Walmart website for 70 bucks ordered online it was shipped a couple days later it's just wired into my running lights <clears throat> so when those are on or my marker lights whatever you want to call them those come on and not sure if you'll be able to see but right down in there there is a black and yellow and a green and brown that comes off that marker light uh, You can't really see it, but that's positive is your green and yellow, and negative is black and yellow, or green and orange, and black and yellow. Green and orange is positive, black and yellow is negative. What you do to put this guy on is you just, there's some 3M tape along the whole bottom side and the whole top side, so you just... Clean your hood really good, wipe it down with alcohol pads that they provide, clean all this front side of the bumper really good, all the way up and around really good. And then you just peel off little pieces of, there's portions on either side, you just peel about two inches off, shows in the instructions, like here and here. And then you just press the front, center it, press the sides, and slowly peel that tape out from up in the top, all the way around, and then you get over here, and then you just come back and press it all in. And I mean, it's pretty, pretty damn solid. This light bar has the same kind of installation, but you get a, like a liquid prepping pad that you actually apply to the plastic piece. And it helps secure this light bar to here, and then it just kind of, the wire goes right through here, and then comes out right there and then wraps up underneath the hood and they give you all kinds of mounting brackets so and that's what 2019 f-250 sport lariat ultimate you know got all the tow cameras and all that obviously trimmed down air dam balance Wheel offset is 20, I think, plus 20 <clears throat> for the wheels. And they're nine, nine wide. 
20s. You know. So a few other upgrades, just tonneau cover, you know, leather guard toolbox, matching tint front and rear windows. The rear was already tinted. This one new. Then the front prow. You know, this 50 cal Ronin antenna. Honestly, had not had any issues with reception whatsoever since I've installed it. I haven't had any difference in quality. I don't use the regular radio too much, but when I have, I haven't had any issues with it. And then I got the ready lift coil replacement leveling kit with the Bilstein shocks. And that has all the relocation brackets, new track bar bracket over there. Took me about, I'm gonna say five hours probably totally do it by myself. Put that leveling kit on with replacing the coils and putting new shocks in just in the front. I didn't replace the back shocks yet. I'm going to eventually. Those brackets there are kind of a pain. You really gotta crank and move that brake line, which is kind of sketchy. That's the only part I didn't really like about the that installation portion of it. It was pretty difficult to get this down and get this you gotta really manhandle that line to get this down here. That was kind of the part I didn't really like about that kit or the kit that's on this truck. Other than that, I mean, it rides really nice. It definitely gave it some height, you know, allowed me to clear 37s, <clears throat> no problem. I haven't had any rubbing yet, so I don't, I don't think I will. Other than that, I got my, I really like this, this here. I mean, it's pretty awesome that you can just lift the seat up and pop it down and then you wouldn't even know that there was anything under there. You know, I got my welder in here and, you know, among other things. The truck, I think I bought it with 150, 150 miles on it and now I got about 3,000. It's been awesome, I don't really have any complaints about it. Uh, one thing that's kind of weird though is the heater sometimes takes a while when it's on auto to to just blow hot air. It's, it's weird. I don't know if that's normal, if it's something I should get checked out. Uh, anything else? I can't really, can't really think of. Oh yeah, I did replace. So the Sport Edition doesn't come with LED headlights, at least for the 2019 model, they don't. So I replaced the fog lights and the two H13s with LED bulbs, which make a big difference with the, the quality of, you know, the light, which uh, I will turn on. So they look a lot better than your halogens, you know, they have a nice color to them. I actually don't mind it without, you know, not having the, right, where are we, right here, this, you know, the LED marker around the, around that, yeah, over there, you know what I mean. I don't really mind it. I kind of like the separation of the, the amber in there. And then with this new, you know, this new up here with those marker lights on the hood. So, any questions on anything else? Let me know. See you later.